My people, wonder shall never end. You see, a eh, breeze don't blow, and eh, the little penny ash don't open. <laughs> it don't open, no. No, be me talk about, I hear, I hear them. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? You're yeah, welcome back to my channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Guys, they said there was this news. They said Olori Temitokbe was seen with uh, Toby's uncle right there in Ileife planning their next move on the oil company business. See, eh? Sometimes uh, it's better that uh, you show who you are. Because someone like uh, Mariam, she don't have time to pretend. She don't she don't get time to pretend. She see everybody know know her for who she is. You can come out and say, see what this person can do, see what this person can do. But to, uh, but this uh Temi Tokbe, she have been making a lot of pe people believe that she is in the side of Queen Naomi and Oni of Ife. But they never know that she was just with them to get the information that she needed to strike. Though, uh, from what we heard, they said, Mariam have made it clear from the onset that if Kabiese and Kwenomi trust Demitokwe, uh, uh, that they are on their own. Because Demitokwe have confided in her that all she needed to do was to make them believe and trust her so that she would be able to be getting all that she needed from them. That's all. So, Temitokwe is being smart with them. But at some point, uh, breeze don't blow and her nyash don't open. So, even Kabiese and Kwenomi, they don't know who she they, they have already known who she is, you know? Before now, uh, Kabiese used to tell uh, Temitokwe about her move, his move concerning Kwenomi's return and everything. Temitokwe will go back and report to Mariam and uh, Runke. You know, these are all alleged information. I wasn't there. Now here they hear them. So, but something happened after two weeks that the Toby gave birth. Is it even up to two weeks? It's like it's within one one week that Toby gave birth to twins. From what we are told, KPSC announced it. If Toby gave birth, I did not know. If she did not give birth, I did not know. But KBAC announced that she gave birth to twins. So after one week that KBAC announced that uh, Toby gave birth to twins, they said a certain uncle from Toby's uh, side, they said he is Toby's uncle, came to the palace. And KBAC thought that the man in question was coming to, you know, f felicitate with, her, with him and they rejoiced with him for the arrival of the twins. Not knowing the man have come for... Uh, 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 the oil company. According to him, he said that it is high time that the twins are included in the oil business, that uh, he is ready to be taking care of their parts until they are of age. <laughs> hey! 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 hey. Children that are not even up to one week, my people. And the said KBSC was like, Who, what kind of human being is this? Eh? Why are people so selfish like this? Although they said Kabiesi frowned the moment he made mention of that, but Kabiesi managed to hold himself to tell him that, look, oh, I am Onirisha. I have money. I can take care of my children, no matter their number. And none of my children will lack anything. That when it is their time, that he will do something. And they said the, the uncle left in shame. Then, the next thing we heard was that the uncle went to the oil company with a stamp bearing KBSC's name, with KBSC's signature, signature, you know, that can only uh, come from palace, you know, and at that time, Toby was not in the palace. A lot of people were like, how did he get this? And one thing about that particular signature is that anywhere they take it, they, they don't ask questions. They will just uh, take that person immediately because of where the signature is coming from. And this one is Tabiasi's company. So they did not go further to be asking him questions. They just showed him office. And he started parading himself as a booze. Even that question, no one was able to answer it, where he got the signature. Because it is clear 
that is not Kabies who gave it to him. Now, he started parading himself as a boss in the as a manager in the company to the point that they said he even employed other three or four people from Toby's side. You know? And when Nomi heard about it, they said someone reported to uh, uh, um, Princess Adeo, that then Princess Adeo that now told Queen Naomi, because these two, in as much as they are the ones to be managing the company, they were not around. But they fixed people there. So, when Queen Naomi get hold of that information, she was not happy. She started making inquiries. They said she first called the king to know if it was king who uh, gave him that signature and everything. And the king said no. He started making inquiries. And after everything, he find out that the man is a fraud. Then the second army came to the pala uh, came to the oil company, fired him, and fired everyone that he employed into that company, just like that. Now he was seen with Temitope again, and they were having a very deep conversation. What is it all about? Will you agree with me that it could be Temitope who helped him to get that signature? Or is, Temitok, is he in any relationship with Temitokwe? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Shebi Unatok say, eh, no man can cross any wife of the king and go scot-free. Mm. Why other will come and tell me that eh, that Magun stuff, that uh, only of if only did it on Queen Naomi? No be me talking more. No be me talking more. But the only thing I can say is this. If all of this information we are hearing is true, it simply means that Temitokwe is not to be trusted. Yes, so, because he is working with the man in question. Uh, then a lot of people are saying that the possibility that uh, Toby may not know about it is there. I don't believe it. Toby must know about it. Because Toby himself is, from what we're hearing about him, about her, uh, allegedly, she is after the king's wealth and everything. You know? So now, uh, Temitokwe is seen with this uh, guy in question, this uncle of Toby. What do you think they are discussing? What do you think they are talking about? Uh, Toby is not in the palace. Because if Toby is, is in the palace, they will say, okay, the man came to visit Toby and maybe he met with uh, Temitokwe. Could it be that he was friend with Temitokwe before now? I don't know. I don't know. Guys, what do you think about it? But for me, I believe that there is something there is something they are planning against Queen Naomi. But they are going to fail. Because all that have planned, they have failed. They will not, uh, their own is not going to be an exception. They will also fail if they plan any evil against Queen Naomi and Tadenikawu. Guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information. Always bear that in mind. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And give this video a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you guys.